Sorry. Right. What time is it? 7.06 a.m. And what are we doing today? A long run. Uh, this is the fuel that I'll be using on race day. It's the same stuff I used in Chicago. And I just mix it up in a big bottle and then put it into these smaller ones, which are easier to grab and drink out of while running fast. Yesterday was exactly three weeks out. Today is basically gonna be like the last really big day. And Coach wants me to get 22 to 23 this morning and then shake out in the evening. So it'll be like a 26 to 27 mile day. Um, and then yeah, from there we're kind of not throwing a hard stop on things, but we'll chill out a little bit for sure. Pop car time. Nice, very good. Definitely endorsed by every nutritionist and dietitian <laughs> you'll talk to. <laughs> but I feel like marathon training and fueling is just so personal. It's like, just find what works with you and don't question it. And for whatever reason in the Chicago build, I think I just had a box of Pop-Tarts at our house for some reason. And I was like, oh, that's quick and easy carbs. I'll just eat that before my workout instead of peanut butter and honey toast yeah. like every other runner in the planet. Yeah. <laughs> and it just sat well. So that's what I eat before race day is what I had the morning I woke up on Chicago. It's what I had before New York half. It's just... Can't hurt. Can't hurt, <laughs> yep. It's just been a lot of like, on the treadmill, off the treadmill, adjusting workout days because of the weather, pushing stuff back, all of a sudden, you know, things are... So it's been harder to get in a groove from that standpoint. On paper, it's been less confidence instilling maybe, mm. but my general sense is that Things have gone well. See so how to go to New York and run well and compete well and, and run. That was my second fastest half ever. So mm -hmm. to do that in the midst of a 100 mile week was definitely a really good, just kind of like validation mm -hmm. that I'm in a good place. Did you want to do this stretch and come back here and then head out the other direction and we can get on the bike path that goes into Longmont? Yeah, I guess I might as well, just because I, I don't know how far that goes. Oh, it'll go. It but, goes for a while, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'll go that way just so I can see what the route's okay. like. All right, so that's what I kind of thought miles. you might want to yeah. do. Can you be ready to go? You just sat in a car for 35 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I got an hour to warm up. Read. <laughs> can't wait to start sprint drills with you after the marathon. <laughs> Audio pros. So I can wear them too? Yeah. How we doing? Hey, guess what pieces we use in Catan? <laughs> <laughs> doing so far? I think you're doing well. Yeah. Um, they're all gonna be done after this. Uh, Sam made you an extra. Three fishers, my hero! Yeah, Reed. Good 
Good job. Thanks, buddy. Woo! Yes, Reed. Woo! Yes, everybody else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many bare bones on the day? Over 22 right now, and I got another mile or so. Gosh, I wish my body wouldn't break down doing that. We had a debate on the most talented, least talented. I said, and I love you, but you're one of the least talented guys on your team. But he's done the most with his beautiful, beautiful body. <laughs> that's good and it's hard. 23 miles, I think that's the biggest run I've done in this build. I think I did, not to look back, I did 22 or 23 like a month ago. So, but that was, didn't feel as hard as this. Yeah. So it was a little less structured. So that's yeah, a good day. Hey Reed, I thought you moved out. I did. This is uh, my home away from home. Huh. I actually have this listed as work in my Google Maps now. Hey Rita, uh, what's for breakfast? You know, Max, I'm having something pretty new for me. It's a bagel with a slice of sharp cheddar cheese and two fried eggs on it. Wow. That's... I would never have this. Just like every day. I've lived with Reed for, what, two years? Two and a half years? Bro, like four years. <laughs> time flies yeah, when you're in love. Drew, not a big, uh, not a big concept of time, yeah. guys. Yeah. All right, Drew, you want some music everyone should hear? You'll get some music everyone should hear. The Reed what is also part of the job. Oh, just getting out my chorus post. Get the pace too, kids. Nice. Best watch you'll ever own. It's actually pretty sweet. I mapped it out. I'm getting like 300 miles per charge out of this thing, running like twice a day, which is pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Can your watch do that? And what the hell did we just do for two hours? Effectively nothing. Oh. Now we uh, filmed a little video for Hammer and Axe. <laughs> I know you put this question in, Drew. Uh, yes, the joke on the team is that I've got like 17 jobs. Time to go to weights. And it's raining out now. Um, can we go already? We're, Wait. We're gonna be late. Okay, let's go, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> I'm waiting <laughs> on you. Nice. Does a lot more stability work, more similar muscular endurance work on top of his loading. Um, we just want to make sure he has the work capacity to maintain stability, posture, um, and just make sure he's more anti fragile. Right? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then working on a lot of mobility, keeping him loose. Mm -hmm. Most of it is a lot of day by day saying, mm -hmm. hey, Reed, how do you feel today? Mm -hmm. How did the workout go? Mm -hmm. um, and then adjusting as needed from there. So we don't want to overload him. He's always on that wire. Yeah. We don't want to throw him off or anything. Mm -hmm. This is what Reed's rest yeah, consists of. Reed's rest, we um, do the hanky panky dance over here. <laughs> Triple later tonight. <laughs> Cam Evans vibe. It was a good shakeup. 
four miles at like seven minute pace. So a little over, or no, 30 minutes, seven minute pace. I'll put Strava right here. Yeah, Strava right there. It'll be titled Afternoon Run. Yeah, nice. Really witty caption. <laughs> uh, Christine, where are we going now? Oh, we're going to ball out, Max. Okay. Yep. Okay, a little yep. rec basketball game. A little rec basketball game. So yeah, we're down in Denver now. We're going, Christine is in a rec basketball league with a few friends. So we drove down here, grabbed dinner, and then we're gonna go watch her ball out, making up for all the calories I burned today. Yeah. Right. Haven't quite made up yet. Yeah. We got a little chicken Sammy, a little Brussels sprout salad, some french fries, and of course, a milkshake. Very good. I mean, it's just nice to not feel like I need to revolve my life entirely around training. Like, obviously, I'm going to be sitting in bleachers, clapping and cheering, but still just nice to have some flexibility to get out of the house and support Christine and do something fun and different and non-running related. So, yeah, it's a good way to cap off a big day of running. Yeah. All right, quite the day we had. Yep, yeah, it's a good day. Long day. Yeah. Lots of running, lots of hooping. <laughs> Lots of fun. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Smash that like button. <laughs> oh, you look good right now. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> All right, make sure that's in there. <laughs>